while Jeremy Meeks, 34, and Chloe Greens, 27, love seems to be going strong, and they're reportedly expecting their first baby together, if the two do break up, Jeremy better hope Chloe gives birth in the United States. Exclusively. Speaking with international family law attorney David Pissarra, HollywoodLife.com learned that Chloe could actually end up having to pay Jeremy child support if they split, but that would most likely only happen if their baby was born in the States. Keep in mind, Chloe is a billionaire heiress to the retail store, top shops, fortune. She's also British which means she could easily choose to give birth in the UK. When they break up, and there is an issue of who is paying who child support and who's going to be having the most visitation and the most parenting time, these now become funny money issues, David told us. Child support is dependent on how much time you have with the parent, and normally mom gets 80% and dad gets 20%, and the father ends up earning more because he's working more than the mother, so he ends up paying child support to the mom. Things are different in Jeremy and Chloe's case though, as Chloe clearly has more money than Jeremy, a lot more. Assuming they get a normal 80 20th custody split, Chloe is going to have this huge amount of money coming in from her father that's going to now qualify for her lifestyle versus the lifestyle of Jeremy, David explained. So, if he's working as an underwear model someplace making 5 grand a month versus her $200,000 a month lifestyle, if he goes into court and asks the judge for more money so that his own lifestyle can be equivalent to hers. When the child is with him, the court could order her to pay child support, makes sense, right? But things would most likely only play out this way in the United States, not in the UK, according to the lawyer. This is where things can get tricky because you have a question of where was the child born and which court is making child custody orders. So, if it's a US court and the child was born in the US and we have the right to make orders, Jeremy is in a good place because our courts are going to be more inclined to make Chloe pay. David said, if it's a UK child, the courts are probably not going to be as inclined to make her pay because they tend to be more self-supporting over there. When asked if it would benefit Chloe to have her baby born in the UK, David said yes, it probably benefits her more to have the baby in the UK because she's there, and they favor the moms more from what I've been lead to understand, he told us. But it would benefit Jeremy for her to have the child in the US, but before we get ahead of ourselves, it's important to remember that not only do Jeremy and Chloe seem far from breaking up, they also haven't even confirmed Chloe's pregnancy yet. She was first reported to be expecting earlier this week on March 27th. We wish both Chloe and Jeremy all the best.